What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an in-place family for step uh, footing. Okay, so this will going to be a very simple exercise. So I'm going to show you how to use an in-place family, okay, in your modeling. So when you say in-place family, you created the 3D model inside the project. So you do not create the 3D model in the family editor but inside the project, just like what we have right now. So we are in a project. All right, so let's do this. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put a wall foundation. Okay, so to do that, I'll go to the structure tab. And then after that, from the foundation panel, so I can see there's the wall foundation. So I'm going to select that. Okay, and then for the type here, for the wall foundation, I'm going to use the bearing footing 36 inches by 12 inches. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to select the wall here. And then it will be automatically placed at the bottom of the wall. So, okay, so that's our uh, bearing footing. So after that, I'll just select your modify to terminate the command or just uh, press escape a couple of times. Alright, so now, so I'm going to add, or I'm going to edit this one. So I want to add a in-place uh, footing. Okay, so to do that, I can actually do it here in the 3D view, but I'll just open up the section view. So I have a section here created. So this is my view right now. Okay, so let's create our in-place family. Alright, so to do that, from the structure tab, you can find here component so you can click the drop down arrow and then let's select here model in place okay so let's select model in place and then you will be asked to specify the category of the in place family that you are creating so you can search here or you can use the slider here to search for the category that you want so in my case i'll just type here structure str and then look for structural foundations category. So just select that one. And then I'll select your OK. And then you will be asked to put a name on it. So let's say I'll just type here in place footing. All right. And then I'll select your OK. That's it. And then you will notice you will be directed to a family editor environment so this is the family editor so as you can see you have the create insert annotate view manage add-ins uh, modify okay and then these are the tools that we are using to create our 3d model in the family editor but right now we are doing it here in the project how good is that one all right so anyway for this i'm going to create an extrusion okay so I need to create an extrusion. So I'm going to select that one. And then I need to specify the work plane. So the work plane that I'll be using is the face of this wall here. So this face here. So we need to orient our uh, work plane on the face where we are going to create our 3D model. So if I go back to the 3D view, so this is where I want to, or this is the face where I want to, orient the work plane okay so on that face here okay all right so i'll go back to the section okay so i want to place the work plane to this face here so to do that i'll select the extrusion again and then i'll be selecting pick a plane okay so select pick a plane anyway that's already the default uh, selection just select okay and then we need to hover our pointer to the face where we want to orient our work plane. And then hover your pointer to the edge until it highlights. Do not click. Just hover your pointer like that. And then press tab once. And then you will see that it will highlight the face. So once you see it highlights, so you click. Okay, using your left click. All right, there you go. So the work plane is now on that uh, face. So we are now ready to shape the profile okay of our 3d so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to use a uh, peak lines tool select that one so i'll just pick lines so let's select this lines here 
So when you are creating extrusion, so it should be close, no intersection, and no overlapping. Okay? And then I'm going to use trim extend to corner. Click that one. Alright, so we need to connect that. We need to connect that. We need to connect that. Okay? And what else? So I also want to use a line tool here. I'm going to click line. So maybe somewhere here. Just approximate maybe 3 feet. Okay, and then I'm going to connect that. For the angle, I'll just approx approximate. So maybe 30 degrees. And then I'm going to click there. And then I'll select here, modify. Okay, so we don't want an excess line here. So I'm going to see, I'm gonna select trim extend to corner. So let's click. One, two. That's it. So that's the profile. So once you're done, so if you know the exact uh, extrusion, so you can specify here the extrusion end and extrusion start. But I'm not sure. So I'll just select finish edit mode. And then select finish model. And then let's see that in the 3D view. So on the section view, it looks okay. But let's see that in the 3D view. Okay, so this is how it looks like in 3D view. So that one. So I'm going to align it. So using the align tool. AL, so I'm going to align that to this face here. That's the face. So you click that. And then let's select this face here. There you go. So it's now aligned there. And then escape once. And then let's align again. So this time, this face here. Make sure the face is highlighted like that. You see the green line boundary. So you click once you see that. And then let's select this face here. There you go. So it's now aligned. Okay. Right. So another issue that I have here is that the material. So if I'm selecting the uh, structural foundation, I can see that the material here, let me see the type properties. The material is concrete, cast in place, concrete, right? So I'm going to select. Okay, and then I'm going to select this in-place family. I'm going to change the material. So I click that. And then you go to in-place family to edit the in-place family. Edit in-place family. And then after that, you are now again on the in-place family environment. So you click the extrusion. And then after that, you look for the material. And then you select category, you click that button there. It will open up the material browser. So I just need to search for the concrete cast in place. So as you can see, it's already set up here because I did this exercise before. But if you need to find it, so you can just type from here. So you can type uh, concrete. And then it will show you all the concrete material here, which is, this is the one that I needed. So I'm going to select that and then I'll select OK. And just click outside and there you go. So they they are now having the same material. And after that, I'll just select here, finish model. So that's it. So we just created our in-place family footing. Okay. So that's it for this simple exercise. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.